Hi all, it's your host Cryptic and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make a quick video on how to jailbreak your PS Vita in 2022 using Vita Deploy. Um, it's probably the easiest method, but it does come with a few bugs. Um, I'm going to quickly go through what applications you need to download and mostly what issues you're going to arise with and what's going to happen. Um, and sort of what written tutorial I use to learn about Vita Deploy, which um, I'll have everything linked down below. Um, the prerequisites are obviously you need a Windows PC to get this done. You will need a PlayStation Vita version 1000 or 2000, USB cable, uh, the SD to Vita um, uh, memory card adapter um, and a micro SD card which I'll have links all to in the bottom and I'll have a photo of the SD to Vita um, adapter card on the screen for you as well. Also make sure that your on the latest version of the Vita firmware, which is 3.73. Um, some other versions work as well, which I'll have listed in the description box or listed in the video as I'm doing it in post. And yeah, um, also just to make sure that to successfully get your Vita connected to your PC, you will need uh, the PlayStation uh, Vita content manager installed on your PC. Um, and you will also need uh, the drivers, which are pretty outdated, but it will not work any other way, especially uh, pre, uh, pre jailbreaking your Vita. So basically what you're gonna be looking for, if I can show you on screen here, this application right here. Um, you'll need that along with the drivers. I'll have links to how to install this as well um, in the description box below. Um, now with that sort of out of the way, uh, let's just get straight into it, shall we? So what you want to do, this is the tutorial that I'm following from Retro Game Corps. Um, great written um, tutorial. Basically the micro SD to Vita, that's pretty much it there. Um, get the latest version of it, either through eBay or through Amazon, whatever's cheapest. This should just be a couple bucks for the adapter and pick your uh, specified uh, micro SD card. I've got a 128 gig um, SanDisk one. You can use 256 or 512. It's entirely up to you. What then you want to do is obviously download Final H Encore um, and also Vita Deploy, right, from GitHub. Um, I'll link these down below as well. Once you do, there'll be two zip files. Um, make a new folder on screen. I've called it peanut butter. Um, Reason being is that's just easy for me to find it in the registry on the Vita once I do the jailbreaking. You can call it anything you want. Um, it doesn't have to be peanut butter. Um, I followed the tutorial to a T just so um, me trying to make this in video content. I don't miss any important steps for you guys, but yeah. Um, then what you wanna do, you wanna unzip uh, Final H Encore into its own folder, which will be this. And then you wanna keep Vita Deploy in its zip file and move it into the Final H Encore folder that you unzipped. And then you should have a registry like this, which is the folder that you named, Final H Encore onto this, right? You then wanna use the content manager um, to copy these files straight on um, to your uh, Vita. And the way you wanna do is using the Final H Encore uh, application. When you open it, you wanna trim H Encore to seven megabytes. There's a tiny little arrow on the right that you can barely make out or see. Um, you wanna click that or open up a side panel Vita deploy and then get it to do its thing. Um, once it does, you pretty much wanna go back on your Vita um, and then you want to then, um, in the content manager, get it to pretty much install both H Encore and Vita deploy. Um, once you get it to do that, you're pretty much halfway through um, jailbreaking your PS Vita. Um, you then wanna launch uh, H Encore and pretty much just get it to run. Um, once you do, um, it'll do its process and you can just exit out of it. Um, you then want to launch uh, Vita Deploy. And then what you want to do is get it to install a different OS. Um, and then what you want it to do is quick 3.65 install. It'll do that and then reboot your system. Um, and then pretty much once that's done, you can egg, pretty much exit out of it. Um, press the PlayStation button uh, the right in the right sequence, that'll be great. And then if you go to your settings um, and open it, you should notice that now you have um, Hankaku settings here. Um, you then wanna make sure once you go into that, that these three boxes are all ticked. You most likely enable unsafe homebrew is unticked. Make sure that's ticked. Once that's done, restart your uh, Vita using the power button, turn it off and turn it back on. Once it does, um, if you go into settings again and you go start, And then you go to system 
and then system information um, you'll be able then to see that it's got the custom version installed um, which will be called that and then you're pretty much jailbroken um, the only thing missing now is just to have your um, uh, micro SD card and SD to Vita as the main file version um, again um, what I should also note is that if you're running this on the 1000 um, to do the copy files you will need the the proprietary Vita um, memory card to copy the files over if you've got the 2000 version which is the LCD model of the Vita um, it's got one gig internal anyway so you won't need that um, so if you do have the 1000 and you're jailbreaking like that one like I do like I am um, yeah, just buy the cheapest capacity you can because you're just going to use it one time to copy H on core and video deploy and that'll be pretty much it. Um, you're pretty much then going to go in to uh, video deploy and you're going to format the, uh, the, what do you call it? The in miscellaneous format the memory card. So, uh, which is here, format storage device. And then make sure target the SD to Vita file system is text fat as it shows there and then just hit for or format storage and then you want to restart it one more time and then what you want to do when you go into the um, the file manager you want to copy everything from the UXO everything in there except for the except for what was it called uh, uh, Skeletrash. trash so you want to press square to cop uh, select everything and then everything except Skeletrash, trash and then press triangle to go to copy and then put that on your uh, you want to put that into like a pointer for you guys uh umao so from uxo to umao and copy them all, all into there. Um, once you're done, you want to essentially uh, set your uh, main storage device to the SD to Vita um, and set your main storage location to UMAO. Um, once that is then done, um, you're pretty much done. From there, you can then use uh, your Vita Deploy to install apps like Adrenaline, uh, the PKG J or the package um, application, the custom themes manager, the Vita homebrew browser, the save manager, all that sort of stuff, and Vita Shell, etc. etc. Um, Vita Shell will then be your main way to connect to the PC instead of the Sony file manager um, to do everything. And um, that'll mean like copying, transferring, installing other external applications that you can't get through Vita Shell, etc. Um, or Vita Deploy, um, and yeah, you're pretty much jailbroken at that point. A um, couple of the bugs, uh, even though I had previously been logged in to my PlayStation ID on the Vita and used it like a typical Vita, bought games and everything, I still couldn't access the PlayStation Store for some odd reason. Um, even though we did the registry update, um, which you can find in that written guide on how to do to get everything fixed. Um, to get it to, hey, make sure it's working. Um, it still didn't want to load. Um, as you can see, now it does. Honestly, I didn't do anything special after that to get it there. I left it as is for about a week. It sort of frustrated me, so I left my Vita for a week trying to scratch my head on what to do. I returned it on and opened up the PlayStation Store, and then it just logged me in. Um, so it might have been just one of those things where there might have been a bug that week with the PlayStation Store, or it just needed time to settle down. I have no idea, but that now works as well. Um, if you have the homebrew application installed, um, you might find that the first time you run it, it will probably crash. It's known to be a bit iffy um, from time to time, but uh, the first time you launch it, it may take five to 10 minutes on a black screen before it finally loads in for the first time. That's normal, so don't worry too much about that. Um, Adrenaline, that's used essentially for your emulation and running into PSP. Um, so yeah, uh, the Enzo application, that uh, that's what you need to run. Um, so if you start Enzo and then go um, install full ITLS package, I know for mine it says uninstall because I've already installed it. That then lets you access the PlayStation Store through your jailbroken uh, Vita. PKG, uh, you can see what it does. 
um, online. I'm not gonna say much there, but let's just say it's another way to get uh, certain applications onto your Vita. Um, custom themes manager, you can get crazy themes on there. There's a whole bunch of hentai ones, which I don't understand why, but clearly there's a market for it. Um, you've then got the Vita homebrew, which we've already talked about. Um, the save manager, Vita shell, um, and a whole bunch of others. Uh, pretty much you can get those all from um, Vita Deploy. Um, they allow you to um, download and install a whole bunch of apps um, onto your Vita. Um, in app downloader right there and you can go through the list it'll download them and then you can select them all to then install and yeah it's a lot easier than with some other jailbreaking methods to then have to always connect your Vita onto a PC to download the applications that you need this one does it all in one which is why I recommend it despite the issues that you'll have from it um, like I said my issues were one getting the Vita connected to the PC without the driver and the content manager installed on Windows. Um, again, not the problem for, or not the problem due to um, uh, the jailbreaking method, but more so how old now the, the Vita is and it uses some outdated software and drivers to sort of communicate with PC hardware. Um, not being able to get the PlayStation Store working, even though having previously won, uh, logged into my PlayStation ID on the Vita and accessing the PlayStation Store and even purchasing and having a PlayStation Plus active on there, etc. Um, and having the homebrew browser just crash nonstop and then all of a sudden the sun, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cooperate now and work. Um, other than that, it's bloody great. I'm still working on getting adrenaline and a whole bunch of the emulation stuff done. But this is definitely the best and easiest way to get your Vita jailbroken and get a lot more life out of it. Um, as we did in the previous video, like I said, if you're doing it just only to buy uh, games and whatever, it's getting a lot harder. Um, the physical games are getting super expensive um, the, and nearly impossible to find in retail. Um, the online store, as much as you might want to throw money at it, it's not going to let you, you can't use credit card or PayPal anymore. You have to manually add funds to your wallet to do it. So it's a pain in the ass. Um, and other than that, before this for me, my Vita was in the draw collecting dust. Um, and now it's got a whole new lease on life playing retro games, emulation, Vita games, PS1 games, some PS2 titles, remasters, etc., etc., exclusives, all that. Um, so definitely worth it. Um, also guys, everything I've talk, talked about, everything you need, all the resources will be in the description box below. If you have any questions at all, like in all my other videos, I'm more than happy to answer what I can and help where I can. So just leave a comment below if you're stuck on something or unsure. Um, and if I've made any errors in the video, I will pick some, I'll fix them in post um, just in case, because I've tried to keep this uh, down below 15 minutes and we're getting pretty close to that now. Um, so yeah. Uh, again guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and if uh, You've enjoyed this video. It's been incredibly helpful to you. Please hit the thumbs up button uh, Leave a comment share the video and most importantly, uh, please subscribe Majority of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel and I do really 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 do appreciate so many new people coming in to watch the content on the channel um, But I would really appreciate it if you guys took the time to subscribe because that shows you really do love it and that you want to see more Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.